Now, um, let's uh, take a closer look at the ARP packets uh, that we captured. So, um, if you look at this uh, first uh, frame that we capture, okay, so what happened is that uh, it is from this source MAC address and it is a broadcast. So, this is actually a broadcast to all the stations on the same network. Okay, and if you look at, uh, if you open up and take a look deeper, it is an ARP. Right, uh, and it is an ARP request. Okay, and if you look at the clicking on it, it's going to bring it the detail. Sorry, uh, for on the request, uh, if you scroll down, right, for the request, if you scroll down, let me see if this looks a bit better. Yeah. If you scroll down. You are going to see that uh, it's an ARP request from this sender IP, right? Uh, 192.168.93.2 and it's looking for 192.168.93.129. Okay, so this IP address is looking for the MAC address of this uh, IP address, right? And if you look at the reply, this is the reply. Okay, so this is an ARP reply and uh, basically uh the sender MAC address is set here and it's trying to tell uh the destination okay the 93.2 that uh for uh 93.129 this is actually the MAC address right so uh, we have discussed this uh as you can see um the ARP request the up request is actually a broadcast so all the stations on the uh, network is going to hear this broadcast and it has uh security implications this means that anybody uh, is free to respond and uh, 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 an attacker on the network can jolly well say that hey, I'm actually uh, 192.168.93.129 and uh, this is my MAC address. Uh, for all the traffic going to 192.168.93.129, come to me. Okay, so this is how, um, this is how uh, a uh, attacker is uh, able to uh, do uh, up spoofing. Uh, by virtue of the fact that uh, the up request is a is a broadcast.